Something told me it was with episode 150 from the Escalax Hour. Came a little late, so I'm gonna recap a little bit of what we just did. I had um, the boss come in and host for a minute, talking to Javi about his comics, about any movies he's having, about uh, you know certain topics revolving around the comic topic. Yeah. Now, our next guest is a painter, or should I say a rap artist? She will be up here soon. Hi. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. What is your name? My name is Michelle Ruby. And what do you do? I paint. I do um, canvas painting, and I also do a lot of mural work. And how did you start this, uh, your craft? I mean, I've been painting since I can remember. It was just always an impulse I had. And then um, I decided to, um, I wanted that I wanted to paint bigger. So I kind of got some wood panels and taught myself how to spray paint. So that way I was able to uh, go bigger and more efficiently and start doing murals. And um, any artists that inspire you? Any uh, certain uh, scenery or, uh, you know, culture around the street that you see that inspires, like, for your art? I mean, I think a lot of different art that isn't necessarily like like with my style inspires me. Just just to see like people producing artwork, just any kind of artwork is just an inspiration to me. Now, um, and what style of uh, graph is this or what style of art is this? I mean, I'd like to say it's my own style, so I don't really know what I would word or what I would title my um, my style to be, but I guess it's just um, it's just all of my experiences put together, and just me as a Latina, and yeah, so it's all all of that put together. And when was it that you actually like started to uh, realize this is what you want to do for a living? Um, I've always known since I was little, and I was like pressured to go to college. I just I knew that it was like the one thing that like made me happy, and one thing that you know, that I wanted to pursue. And the one thing that I felt like I was like decent at. <laughs> so that's what, that's why I went, went for it. You ever got in trouble for your art? Actually, no, I haven't. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> now, you have any uh, projects you're working on right now, the latest projects? Um, right now, I actually took like a little week break because I was really, really sick. But I am actually going to be working with the city of Chula Vista, which is down in San Diego, um, to do just like a, a painting for um, for victims of domestic violence, children. So, but that's that's all I'm working on currently. But I'm sure that'll change really soon. Uh, to yeah. Now, um, do you usually uh, vend? Do you go? Uh, do you go out to uh, events and stuff like that to paint? Um, yeah, I do a lot of live painting, and I mean, sometimes I'll vend, but I don't really have too many, like, things that I'm selling besides my prints, so, but I do do a lot of live painting and events and stuff like that. You ever thought about uh, making shirts? I have thought about it. I actually really, that's something that's definitely, like, in the in the works. So. You should get to it. Mm -hmm. Shirts would be really good. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so what type of uh, characters do you have, actually? Characters? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, well, who are you painting? I paint 
there's not like a specific anything I paint. Well, I mean, I guess I, I do a lot of like my pinata characters. That's like the one thing that people like recognize me for just for, just cause it's like, I don't know. But <laughs> <laughs> but I, I do like portrait work and, but I, I do incorporate that character a lot. So yeah. <laughs> And how did the piñata character come about? Uh, actually, this is a weird story. My sister, she's a journalist, and she writes books and stuff, and she wanted to do a children's book, and she wanted to do it, like, all, um, like, with, like, a Latin twist. So I, so I started with uh, Red Riding Hood, mm -hmm. and I wanted to make, like, the wolf like a Latin wolf, and I was like, how do I do that? I have no idea. So I don't know why, I just, like, Made him like a piñata. Anyways. <clears throat> and um, do you have any uh, material from that, like from that era when you know you were making the Red Riding Hood and? You know? I do. Yeah, I have a bunch of like sketches and stuff in my sketchbook. A lot of watercolor. Should have brought it. Oh uh, yeah, I didn't think about it. <laughs> now before you um. Before you actually created that character, what inspired that character? Like, um, were there any other characters like before that, where like there were fails or like uh, you know prototypes? I mean, honestly, no, not really. Like, he just came from that, and then I just liked him, and then since then I've developed him, and made it like what it is now, and I'm still developing it, and I'm still like adding things and changing it and putting twists on it because I don't want it to just be the same character all the time. But I do like the whole piñata thing since it is a big part of my culture, but it's always changing and developing. Now, uh, what piece is this? What's going on here? <laughs> this piece? Um, I actually did this for a show that um, was, what was it? It was some sort of like sex show, <laughs> an art show, and so I just did, I, I used to a lot make these little dolls, but uh, I kind of stopped making them just because people thought they were like really weird. Not, I didn't make the nude ones per se, but I just made little dolls and people were like, what is this, this is weird. So <laughs> I kind of did it for myself for a while and then it just fell off because it's a lot of work, like sewing and Oh, it's all sewing, that, I thought it was yeah. clean. No, it's, it's sewed. It's all on fabric and then like needle felting. I don't know if you know what that is. How was like, it? the show uh the whole uh arts and crafts it was fun i was i think i was like really depressed when i was doing it so i would just make like my little world of dolls and i just had tons of them like i don't even know do you I still have them yeah i have i have quite a few of them i sold some actually but i do have quite a bit of them left can i buy one <laughs> sure of course yeah <laughs> so what's going on in this painting here this piece I did with my homegirl, Chloe, and uh, this was actually an art basil. And we had this idea in Mexico, when we, we went to Mexico together as well, and uh, we wanted to do um, these deers, but that night, like, it just didn't work out. It was, something happened, so we weren't able to paint it. So when we went to Miami, we, we wanted, we were, like, determined to get a wall and the paint these deer characters. Yeah, it's the same one. And yeah, unfortunately, we never got a good picture of it because there was always that car parked in front of it. But <laughs> but that is, uh, it, I mean, and we kind of worked with what was there because the wall was like tagged on and it had like red and a little bit of blue. So that's like how we decided on our color palette. But as far as uh, just the deer, just inspired by like Frida, really. Philly, that's tight. You know, deers get, um, they eat hallucinogenics and they start like, acting more deery? <laughs> no, I had no idea. <laughs> I don't know too much about deers, actually. <laughs> nah, I just found that out yesterday. Hmm. But that's really tight, though. I, I was looking through your, your feed, and I saw that one. I was like, oh, this one's like really dope. Like, it's huge. How big is it, actually? I don't know the exact dimensions, but it's definitely one of the largest pieces I've ever worked on. It was, it was pretty large. And is this your character in here? <laughs> yeah, this is one of my characters. You should give yeah. him a name. I've had people ask me, like, what is the name and I, I don't have an answer but yeah it's, it's definitely one to think about <laughs> you call him a chamuco chamuco yeah. i like that it's a good one <laughs> but how old is he actually like uh, this character he's not that old he's i've been doing him for about a year now and then i just 
I got good feedback, so I kept doing them. Now, do you usually do a lot of uh, a twist of this with uh, people's portraits, or the portraits are separate? These ones here are all portraits of people. <laughs> um, it's It was like little Christmas gifts, like last minute Christmas gifts, and like the one in the middle is my grandma, she likes to sew, and then my mom's boyfriend likes to play tennis, so I, I drew him. <laughs> And then just a Santa Claus, that one, that one was just just for the holidays. And then the clown was like supposed to be my best friend. <laughs> I thought it was a clown. Thank That's you. really tight. And um, do you have any inspirations from movies when you look at stuff like this too? When you draw this stuff? Um, honestly, I don't really watch too many movies. The only thing I ever watch is like Forensic Files, <laughs> like right. on repeat. Yeah. That, that very top um, looked like a cat. It reminded me of um, the Cheshire Cat from... Uh, I've Alice heard that before, one. yeah. I mean, maybe subconsciously I was inspired by that. I don't know. That's tight, though. I mean, if you, if you don't really know it, it's, it's even better because, you know, yeah. <laughs> people can't tell you, like, oh, you're biting, you know? Right. But that's ill, though. And, like, are you, have you done any past events lately? Um, what do you mean by that? Like, uh, have you been painting at other shows? I have. Or like, where we can find your murals at? Yeah, I have. I'm trying to think. In I have a lot... Like, I travel to paint murals, so I have some in, like, Miami and Mexico and Tijuana. I have a lot in San Diego, and then I had some here in L.A., but I'm still trying to branch out. I actually, I just did one in Hollywood that I'm actually still, I'm still working on. Um, that's the last one I worked on in Hollywood, and that was, like, about a week ago. What was it? It was these two peacocks, and I actually did it with the same homegirl I did a... Uh, the one with the deer. So yeah. we did the whole, s the same color scheme and everything with the blue and the red background. And uh, yeah, just two peacocks. That's tight. Now, um, excuse me. What's going on in this picture right here? This piece here. This piece is totally like different from like everything I do. And it's weird to talk about it, but it's, this one's like super personal. It's like basically, it was for my sister. She just published a book called The Crux um, that was about our upbringing, our child, childhood, and just like our, our family. And um, I used to have this repeated dream where I would be in a car or a bus or whatever it was. It was always different every time. And um, I, would, I would didn't know how to drive at the time, so I would get behind the wheel and start driving and like be crashing into everything, but, some, but I'd be able to find my way home and I finally got home and it was a black hole. Like my house wasn't there, but my neighbor's houses were there and everything was the same, but my house wasn't there. And um, I don't know, it's just like, it's basically a piece about our childhood. <laughs> that was pretty tight. I actually like that piece right there. Thank you. It reminds me of uh, certain stuff I write sometimes, but that's really ill. Cool. And is this you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you painting the deer? It's a lamb actually, but close enough. <laughs> kind of blind, my bad. Uh, yeah. Where did you do this piece at? This was, that one was in L.A. Um, I don't remember the neighborhood. I'm not, I'm new here, so I'm still not too familiar with the neighborhoods, but I did it. It was in an alley, like next to a church. <laughs> That's all I know. All right, all right. Yeah. <laughs> so actually, I didn't even ask. Where are you from? I'm from San Diego. Oh, nice. But I lived, I lived in... So I grew up in San Diego, and then when I was 17, I moved to San Francisco. And then from there, I moved here. So I'm like, been bouncing around kind of all over uh, California. Where are your parents from? Uh, my mom's from Puerto Rico, and my dad from Mexico. <laughs> that's tight. My mom is too. Oh, yeah? Puerto Rican. Cool, yeah. cool. <laughs> but that's ill. So uh, what's going on right here? Um, I was just inspired by like totem poles, and then I, I'm really inspired by like just Mexican uh ornaments like the little crafts that all like the women and men make that's like a huge inspiration for me my whole house is like my inspiration I just like collect little weird things and get inspired by them and um, yeah I just wanted to make like just something visually interesting I see you work with a lot of animals like do they inspire you too yeah I've always been a big animal person <laughs> I love animals yeah. that's really ill <laughs> now are you working on any um like uh, other products, like uh, say, uh, you know, skulls with <coughs> paintings on them, or like um, maybe earrings, or like, uh, I don't know, patches? 
Um, Patches would be cool. Right now, just canvas work, but I definitely, like how you mentioned shirts and stuff, it's been something I've been thinking about. I've actually been emailing back and forth about making pins, so I'm thinking about making some, like, that label pins or whatever they're called <laughs> and uh, some t-shirts and some patches too actually i was just thinking about that yesterday so that's tight yeah well do you so you collaborate a lot right yeah mm -hmm. uh, now which one was your one of your favorite pieces to do with uh one of your collaborators um i think the most successful pieces that i've done with other people are basically we we both do the same thing but we interpret it our own way like for instance like the deer or the peacock, or just animals, and then that way we can do it the way we want to do it, but just basically keep the color scheme in common, and that it's a successful piece, and it doesn't look like it was like stuck together, you know. Now, have you ever had uh, any complications with like, uh, you know, like um, certain pieces you couldn't finish because of either like, you know, natural events or like. Um, um, you know, bystanders, or you know, the, bus the business just doesn't want it no more, or something like that. I mean, I've had complications finishing a piece, but I was able to get it done. But um, just long story, like with with neighbors that w didn't want it there, but the owner wanted it, and that they gave me a really hard time the whole time I was painting it, and just telling like yelling you're so disrespectful like the whole time i was painting i was like oh my god i'm sorry but i finished it because you know that's what the owner wanted so i did it they usually pay you right yeah all right that's good i mean well not always but for the most part yeah that's pretty good yeah as long as you get your name out there you know right if it's like something that i really want to do and it's like a really good wall then i'll, I'll do it like just because i want to basically for self-promotion but I mean, yeah, for the most part, I require a payment. That's what I do full time, so. All right, sure. Yeah. Now, what's your best memory you had uh, of painting? Um, probably just in Mexico. Like, I traveled to Mexico with like, a bunch of other really talented ladies, and we just went out there. And at first, we were a little bit nervous, like, oh, man, we're not going to be able to get walls. Like, we, we had one, and we all we're painting and while we were painting like so many people drove by and we're like hey like can you paint this can you paint this can you paint that and like it was just overwhelming like the response we got from the community and they all wanted our art and they like really respect it out there like it's a little bit different than it is here like they have like this huge respect for artists and it was just cool and we helped out and we painted we painted a special needs school we did a my friend even did on the side of a guy's house, like his actual house, like a huge Dalmatian. Like it was just, it was cool. But actually one of those murals ended up collapsing because of the, um, the earthquake that happened recently. Oh, so, nice. yeah. Damn. Rest in peace to that, uh, that piece. Yeah. But <laughs> that is really ill. You know, how, how does it make you feel when people give you that recognition? You know, you're like, oh, my art's painting off now, you know? I mean, it feels really good because, you know, I, ch I put in a lot of work and since I started, I just haven't stopped. And even when I have like the moments where I'm like, what am I doing? Like something always pops up that makes me feel like, you know, I'm supposed to be doing this. You ever had any doubts? Yeah, all the time. I have them all the time. But then, you know, I every time I paint like it just feels right like i go into like a whole other like dimension <laughs> while i'm painting you know and it's like the only thing that gets me there and i'm just like content and happy and not worried about the rest of the world so that's why i really enjoy painting and i that's why i do it that's tight i, I know a lot of artists they say that i'm just like damn like how can you do it like uh, it makes me admire them you know it's mm -hmm. like i have there's so many artists in here too that uh you know they work on their own stuff and it's just like I don't know how you guys keep, can, you know, keep drawing like that or painting or, you know, do what you guys do like that. But oh, that's very uh, admirable and like, uh, I need you guys to keep doing that. Oh, thanks. I will. <laughs> You're welcome. Now, um, are you gonna attend the the All Women's Festival? That's where the, it's just all the vendors, painters, musicians are all women. You know, anybody can be there, but the p the the people that are gonna be uh, performing and selling stuff, they're all women. Oh, I wasn't aware of that. I mean, I knew that Women's Month or is coming up it's Women's in Day. March, right? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's in March. I think it's. I think it's February twenty seventh or something like that. But 
yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe, yeah, maybe it is March. I don't know. I don't know. I just know it's coming up. I forgot. But I know a lot of people that are going to be there, and, like, I'm just excited for it. Like, I think uh, you should really come by, though. Okay, cool. Because you'd be a great addition for all that. Yeah, I'd love to. And if, uh, just give me more information. Have you uh, heard about the cafe outside that, we, that uh, one of the uh, other hosts runs? I haven't, no. Uh, it's called Sapotec Cafe. Yeah, I'm, I saw it on the way here, but I haven't heard of it, no. We actually do uh, events there if you want to come by, vend, live paint, stuff like that. Okay, cool. Um, we're always looking for new artists if you want to bring your friends too. Uh, awesome. If they have merch or if you have merch, just come by and sell stuff. And if you have art pieces that you, uh, you know, want sold and stuff, Usually, uh, we have an art wall. Okay. So cool. people will ask, like, oh, how much is this? How much is that? And they'll buy it. Awesome. So yeah, definitely. Come Interested. by and leave some of your art. Um, yeah, pretty much. And then just get known. Cool. Yeah, thank you for the invite. I would love to. Of course. Now, um, have you ever thought about um, painting uh, your characters and some of your art on people's bodies and stuff like that? Um, I haven't actually thought of body painting, no. <laughs> How would you feel about that? I mean, I don't know. I mean, depends on the event. I, I, yeah, I would do it <laughs> if someone wanted me to. <laughs> That's tight. I have a friend that, um, oh, sorry. So what's going on in this picture? Oh, this is just like an artist um, that I know via like the internet. And we've been like, we just send each other stuff during the holidays. And I just did a portrait of her. And that's her. Uh, that's her nephew, so. Is that a cat? It's a dinosaur. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, it's hard to see. How long did this take? This, um, my portraits t typically take me, like the little watercolor ones anyways, take me like like two two hours, about. Yeah. Oh, nice. Thank you. And um, usually when you do them bigger, how, much, how long does that take? Well, actually, the bigger they are, the easier. Oh, I mean, it depends, like, how big. If it's huge, like, obviously, it's going to take me longer. But if it's, like, a good size, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't know. Um, it, does, it doesn't take that long because with spray can, it's just the bigger you go, the easier. Like, if you try to make, like, something tiny with a spray can, like, it's going to take, it's going to be a headache because all the little details, it's impossible. So it's easier the bigger you go. Now, have you ever had uh, other artists uh, tell you that your art is amazing? Um, I've, uh, I've had compliments from other artists, yeah. <laughs> like peers? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How does that feel? Um, it feels good. <laughs> I mean, I, I like, I would do it regardless because it makes me feel good, but I, of course, I like and I love the support from the community and other artists. That's dope. Now, uh, you have any, uh, handles, web links, you know, stuff like that that you want to get, uh, give out to the crowd, the audience out there? Um... The thing that I use most really is Instagram, and my Instagram name is MRB Baby or Mr. B Baby, and um, yeah, I uh, I just post my art and some personal stuff, but basically just my art. <laughs> I have a question. Yeah. Why is it Mr. B Baby? Oh gosh, um, honestly, my initials are MR, and then I just put Baby. And then it just kind of, everybody called me Mr. Baby. Like, I d honestly didn't know what my name, what I wanted my name to be. And I just put MR Baby. And then, since then, I mean, I kind of knew what I was doing when I did it. That it was going to be Mr. Because I always knew that th those were my initials. But everybody just called me that. And I'm okay with it. What's your full name? Michelle Ruby. Oh, nice. Well, my last name is Guerrero. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, Mr. G. Yeah, Mr. G. I'm gonna call you Mr. G. That's fine. You can call me whatever. <laughs> well, Mr. G, thank you for coming. It was really nice having you. Now I hope next time you come to the events and you know you live paint and you know get down to business. Thank okay. you for coming. Yeah, of course. Thanks for having me. Of course. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thanks.